Hi guys, my name is Sam Evans and this is The Electric Singularity. Thank you for watching. It's great to have you here. Now, today I've just learned that Panasonic is in a very interesting position. One that has two sides, one positive and the other negative. Now, Panasonic has recently reported that its profit will increase by up to 30% and they will be testing 4680 battery supply lines in 2021. Now, this is great news for Tesla fans, Tesla car buyers, Tesla themselves, and really, I think it's great news for Panasonic that they're in a position to be able to build these batteries for Tesla. However, it's left them in an interesting position. Joey Klender reports for Tesla Rati that Tesla's demand for automotive batteries has driven supply of Panasonic's profitability forecast up 30% this year as the Japanese company looks to rebound from lockdowns and a lackluster demand in 2020 caused by the coronavirus. Additionally, Panasonic's executives revealed that the battery manufacturer would set up a test line in Japan for Tesla's 4680 battery cells, which are a new battery that was unveiled by Tesla in September 2020. Panasonic is looking to utilize the growing demand for electric cars in the United States and China to offset a tough 2020 caused by the coronavirus pandemic. Due to Panasonic's long and strong partnership with Tesla, Panasonic plans to leverage the automaker's popularity in both of the key regions to bring in more profitability and projections are showing that is exactly what will happen. Now, Panasonic is expecting its automotive unit to post 50 billion yen in operating profit, Chief Financial Officer Hirokazu Umeda said in a press briefing, according to Reuters. Tesla takes in nearly all of Panasonic's automotive batteries, Umeda said, and they account for around 40% of Panasonic's total business. Now, obviously, that percentage is set to increase, and you'll see why very shortly. Forecasts for Panasonic's overall operating profit project at 27.6% increases to 330 billion yen, or around $3 billion. In Q1 2021, Panasonic posted an operating profit of $292 million, a 40% decrease compared to the same period in 2020. The biggest factor to this substantial decrease was Panasonic's weak earnings report from its Life Solutions unit that manufactures lighting, lighting and materials for buildings. Automotive components of Panasonic reported profitable figures but were offset by the loft life solutions decreases. The automotive unit of Panasonic is where growth and profitability are being recorded. In fact, it's the only area where growth and profitability are being reported at Panasonic. Panasonic plans to begin expanding its product line and it begins with a test manufacturing line in Japan later this year that will produce Tesla's cylindrical 4680 battery cells. The cells were unveiled by Tesla last year in September at the company's battery day. Several performance improvements are outlined by Tesla's new cell. They include a five times increase in energy density. Obviously, though, remember, the cells are getting bigger, so it's not really reflective of a five times improvement. It's reflective of about, a, I think, about a 56% improvement. They're also going to provide a 16% increase in range and an improvement in power output by six times. The cells will also help reduce manufacturing costs and will contribute to a 14% decrease in price per kilowatt hour, bringing electric cars to price parity with their internal combustion engine rivals. This, to me, is the real news. Panasonic is also investing in supply chain management services and recently acquired Blue Yonder, a US supply chain software company for $7.1 billion. Analysts project Panasonic's profitability to hit 327.56 billion yen, slightly lower than the company projects for itself. This is based from estimates from 16 analysts according to data from Refin it if data. Guys, obviously Panasonic is clearly becoming more dependent on Tesla. So that's a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it's extremely positive. 
because it's extremely positive for the car market in general. We need 4680 battery cells from Tesla. Tesla needs to provide these cars to the market who desperately want to buy electric cars. And the positive about this is it's going to bring down the price of electric cars and this will dramatically speed up adoption of electric vehicles. That is awesome news. Obviously, Panasonic become, becoming dependent on Tesla for their profit is an issue. If they're losing money in pretty much all other areas of their business, then obviously, and they're growing the battery supply chain area, then that means Tesla is, Panasonic is becoming more dependent on Tesla and becoming more dependent on Tesla for its profit. However, I believe Panasonic's acquisition of Blue Yonder may start to change that as obviously that's another revenue stream for them. Now, full kudos to Panasonic for sticking with Tesla through all this time. And obviously for quite a number of years, Panasonic didn't make a profit out of their battery making enterprises, but they stuck with it and now they're turning over a very good profit in that area. So well done to them. I've got to say, Panasonic is an impressive com company. The fact that they're going to get up Tesla's new battery cell lines, potentially, even before Tesla is really putting these into mass manufacture, is really quite an impressive feat. Guys, thank you for watching the video. Please remember to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.